Hey, welcome. This is going to be a short video using Tinkercad to illustrate how to measure voltage with a multimeter. I have a simple series circuit set up here on the breadboard. I've got three LEDs plus a resistor, and if you kind of trace the path, there is exactly one path for electricity to take to flow. In order to measure voltage, the first thing you need to know is that your circuit needs to be connected and turned on. So my light's being turned on, lets me know the circuit's working well. I do have the ability on my power supply to see what voltage I have. In a series circuit though, voltage is going to drop as it goes through components. And those voltage drops um, are based on kind of a couple things. Number one, right, what is the total voltage that's even in the system, you know, from the power supply? And, um, you know, how many components does the electricity have to push its way through? And how much resistance are each of those? You will always get voltage drops that add up to the total volts. The question might be though, what's the voltage drop across a single component? So to take that measurement, you're going to grab the leads from your multimeter, okay, and you are going to basically touch the um, opposite sides of that component. And then with the, with the um, circuit powered on, I need the multimeter set to voltage. Okay, with when it's set to voltage, electricity cannot flow through the tool and kind of short circuit or bypass this component. It has to go through the component. The leads are not allowing flow to go through like they would when, if, when you're on current or amps, um, but they can take a pressure reading, if you will. And so um, it's the comparison between those two that we would generally say is your voltage drop. So we're getting a voltage drop of 1.94 volts, less than 12. What I would expect is that if I go through and measure all of these, that they're going to add up to the 12. I do expect each of these three to be 1.94 because they're all the exact same LED. So they should have the same amount of resistance and they should create the same amount of um, voltage drop. So let's just round to two approximately. So two, four, six, we have about six volts here. Um, <laughs> my nephew is messaging my niece or my daughter. I don't know how to get rid of that. Go away. Um, they're just slightly under, so this is going to be slightly under 6, so I'd expect the voltage across the resistor to be just over 6. Stop the simulator. And there you go, 6.18. So that is how you measure volts. Um, if you want to measure the voltage drop across multiple components, you can do that as well. We can obviously um, add them up if you had measured across each individual one, but it is possible to say move this lead um, onto this side of the LED, which is, you know, the opposite side of the resistor. So the electricity, right, had to flow through the LED and the resistor um, to kind of get to where the lead, this black lead and the red lead are from the multimeter tool. So in this case, I'm going to be measuring the voltage drop through both of those components. So we'll get, right, about eight. There you go. All right, I hope that helps you understand how to use the multimeter to measure volts.